Well, this is a bit of a sad video today. It's a few weeks of me speculating, and this is a warning to anyone who is a Magic the Gathering speculator and someone who's into MTG Finance that things can go wrong, and they did for me. I am literally out dollars here when it comes to this spec. So I thought since we are going back to Ixlon, it's always good to look at the tribes of a new set when it's coming out. And I noticed that there is going to be a ton of dinosaurs in there. And I thought, what is the best dinosaur? What is the most underrated, underappreciated dinosaur in Magic the Gathering? And I thought to myself, it has to be Colossal Dreadmaw. This to me is a very underrated card, and I thought for sure it would probably see an uptick in price from newer dinosaur commanders, but there hasn't really been any price movement at all. And then Wizards of the Coast drops a massive bomb. Basically, a new Dreadmaw making this card pretty much useless. But I still think it's a great card, but with that new one, it's got me thinking, wow, now I have a new spec to go through. Well, let me show you uh, not just the gigantic stack of Colossal Dreadmaws I have here, and there's no space in this binder, but let me show you the Colossal Dreadmaw binder here. So, this is a... Uh, <laughs> well, it's a, I think it's a good achievement. I'm just upset that a lot of these didn't go up in price like I thought they would. I just, I'm just shocked that they really didn't go up in price. You're looking at a card here. Now, I think about the value. You know, it's a four colorless, two green and you can actually ramp into this very easily because green is probably the best color for ramping. Tons of mana dorks as well. You're looking at a 6-6 six, six here, right, with Trample. Now, if you don't know what Trample is, it's one of the best abilities in Magic the Gathering. So if I were to attack, let's say, with my Colossal Dreadmaw, it's a 6-6, six, six, and then someone has a 2-2 two, two Defender, what'll happen is the 6 damage will actually still go through, and then the 4 will actually trample over top. So they have 2-2 two, two toughness, and then the rest of the damage, which would be 4, would actually go through on the target player, which is, is an incredible ability. And the fact that Colossal Dreadmaw has it as a common for 6 mana, a 6-6, six, six, I was actually blown away. And then the new card basically has an added bonus on top of that. So I still think there's a place for this card. I'm just upset that it didn't really go up in price the way that I thought it would have, considering going back to Lost uh, Caverns of Ixalan, but still, I mean, it's a pretty good, in my opinion, a pretty good spec. Regardless, I still think there's going to be opportunity for this card in the future, um, but I would love to know in the comment section below, guys, if there is any other cards that you guys have actually failed on when it comes to specking on Magic the Gathering cards. I'd love to know that down below in the comment section. You know, a bit of a sad video today, but you know, it's just, I like to show my gains and my losses here, and I'm literally out dollars on this particular spec, so it's a bit upsetting, but nonetheless, uh, let me know uh, what you think of this video down below in the comment section. I'd love to know some failed specs that you guys have from your buying experience. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video and take care. Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada-wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.